Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Due to the uh, coronavirus, there are many who are not able to receive, due to uh, certain protocols, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the forms of bread and wine. But we speak of the spiritual communion that exists between the Lord and ourselves. And so before we start Holy Mass, let us offer an act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we will go unto the altar of God. To God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins unto God and prepare ourselves that we might be found worthy to participate in the holy sacrifice. And now let us make an examination of our conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God, I will offer the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and the remission of all our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. For I will sing to the Lord's renown, O proclaim the greatness of God. The rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways. A faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And 
and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Blessed are you, God our Father, for you are the rock of our salvation, in which we place our trust. May this trust never dim, so that we may not yield to temptation or hinder your holy design. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. On this, the 21st, first Sunday in the Ordinary, we take a reading from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, the prophet. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day I will summon my servant, Eliki, son of Hekiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your stash and give him over to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the king, the key of the house of David, on Elikim's shoulder. When he opens, no one sh shall shut. What he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a pure spot, to be a place of honor for his family. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual. Truly God, who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is the rock? This God who girded me with might, kept my way unhurried. The Lord lives, blessed be my rock, exalted be God, my Savior. The second reading for today is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Romans. Oh, the depths of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Who, who has been his counselor? Who, ha, who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ. Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosened in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and my horn of salvation, and my stronghold. Words taken from the book of Psalms chapter 18 verse 2 in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen to you my dear brothers and sisters in christ i believe that today's gospel is the key pillar of the christian faith it is a conversation that takes place between jesus and his apostles in the final year of his ministry. He had walked and talked with his first chosen for almost two years. They heard his teachings and witnessed his miracles. And he was about to talk about the things that would soon come into their lives. But yet they did not understand or comprehend the upcoming passion and death of their Lord. So one day we read that Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some said, some say John the Baptist, other Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He then said to them, but who do you say that I am? 
Simon Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said to Peter in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. Now, in today's gospel, Jesus asked two questions. Who do people say that I am? There are many different opinions, many different understandings, but the second question is in the most personal way. But who do you say that I am? When Jesus then hears prof the profession of faith from Peter, he says to Peter, flesh nor blood has revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven, and I say thou art Peter, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What is this rock that Jesus talked about? We hear terms associated with rocks. To be rock steady, or to have the strength of the rock of Gibraltar, as well as others. To be rock steady is to have fortitude, to be strong in your convictions, and to be dependable upon your convictions. Peter became rock steady on that day he professed his faith to Jesus, for he had received illumination, and Jesus saw this and realized it in Peter. And so Jesus then talks to Peter on a higher spiritual plane. That Peter came to this realization not through his own human intellect, or logic, but it was from God. You know, my brothers and sisters, every church that is dedicated and consecrated unto the Lord has for the most part a stone foundation. I believe that most churches, if not all, have a rock cornerstone. I have read that the preferred material for an altar is stone, which is reminiscent of the stories of Cain, Noah, Abraham, and Moses. And so as we look today, my brothers and sisters, upon the profession of faith that Peter exhibited that day, I believe that our Lord and Savior says to us this day, for us who search to have the Lord as our rock, listen to his words. Believe in the good news. Seek God for wisdom, understanding, and enlightenment through prayer and devotion. For it is through seeking God that we find him. And we find that rock of ages. And we find that rock of faith, which is the essential building material for building God's kingdom here on earth through his holy church. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, 
begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have heard your word of promise. In, re in return, we offer you this sacrifice. Bless us now with the gift of your Son, that we may live amid the tension and doubt of this life in peace, faith, and hope. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his teaching and his ministry, Jesus showed us how we are hard to who live, giving our lives in service to you and to all people. Still him hearing his word in our world to who day we strive to follow his example and set our hearts on the whole world to come. Therefore, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating very humbly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our Prime Bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers, let us remember the sick, the suffering and the dying, the homeless, the hungry, the unemployed, all those who have suffered from this coronavirus. We pray especially this day for all those who have lost property in their lives with the fires in California. We also remember this day and pray for all abused and neglected children in our world, for all those victims of violence both, both here and abroad, for all those who serve in our armed forces both here and abroad, and for our own special intentions at this time. And all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion with an honor above all others, the memory of Mary, the glorious mother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among your the flock of your chosen people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, 
and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love through to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body. In like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, All of you take and drink of this, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, as often as you do this. Do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your own servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which a high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice in the Immaculate Host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar in the, the presence of your divine majesty that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants and all those who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, in all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. 
let us pray. Instructed by our Savior and his teachings and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, is also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God, my rock, that brings me victory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may we who have received the body and blood of your Son, together with the apostles and all the church, ever proclaim the greatness of Jesus Christ, we ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifices offer. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you this day, most holy trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which we, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for myself and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light, which gives light, to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten, not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, I welcome you to today's Holy Mass. Before we conclude today's Mass, let us remember in our prayers those who have 
difficulties and problems in their lives. May we pray unto the Father for the living as well as for the deceased. And may God be with all of us to give us health, strength, peace, and his blessings. May God be with all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful beloved, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.